My name is Matthew Burrell and today I'm walking you through a time lapse video of me drawing some hands. So what I do is I begin by drawing a notional space box and you can see up there in the top left corner that I have a thumbnail drawing that's used to help gauge my relationship of values, my overall drawing and my composition. Now that I have my notional space box, I begin to block in the basic forms of the hands. Here I'm using both my thumbnail and the reference image to measure the most basic forms. I'm looking for the lightest shapes and the darkest shapes and blocking those in first. You always want to start at the most basic forms, adding layers of complexity on top, building up your image using these basic forms as a framework for the rest of the drawing. I'm taking advantage of my underdrawing by building up form from around the fingers, sharpening some edges and adding the basic shapes of the rings. I don't want to get too detailed in there because I'll get lost. Tunnel vision is not a good thing. The proportions of the right pointer finger became a problem area for me. I tried making it longer but decided I liked it more shorter, even though it didn't quite match my reference. And here I'm using a micro eraser, bringing back some of the contrast. I lost some of my hands as I was shading over it, kind of flattened it out and lost my lights. So I'm just going back through and bringing them back to life. By darkening the background, again I'm creating more contrast in my overall image, but I'm also pushing back the space behind the object and creating a more dynamic scene. Try not to let the small details like fingernails, cuticles, the details in the ring distract you from the overall picture. Let your basic drawing build the details of your subject. If everything around those details are correct, they should reveal themselves over time.
Nearing the end here, I'm bringing back out some of those brightest brights and making some last minute changes to my background. And after a quick cleanup, I think I'm done. Cleaned up some of those smudge marks, make it look pretty, and here it is. I'm calling it on this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I had a really fun time making this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you learned anything or liked the video at all. And subscribe now for future content.